Hello everyone, my name is Ali and today we'll be talking about the neutral theory of molecular evolution. Before we start, uh, if you enjoy this video or any of the videos that are present on this channel, feel free to like and subscribe down below. Now, let's understand what the neutral theory entails and what it, uh, what it helps us understand. First of all, uh, the genetic drift causes allele frequencies to change over time, which can uh, first of all, cause some alleles to go extinct or some cause some other alleles to be fixed. And the probability of fixation and it actually increases over time and this is something that we're going to be explaining later. Rare alleles uh, are more frequently or more likely to be lost because if we have these pres the presence of these rare alleles in a certain population, let's say one of every 10 people, one, one of 10 people that are present in a population have them, the probability of this person uh, suffering or dying is going to be uh, basically leading to the extinction of this rare allele. That's why it's more probably going to, uh, it has a higher probability of loss. The time for fixation or loss varies with the effective population size and the allele frequency. Now, the smaller the population size and the lower the allele frequency, the less time required for the loss of this allele. Like we mentioned in the previous example, if I have one person, if we are in a remote island and we have one person out of the only 10 people present that has this rare allele, if uh, this person, for example, does not breed or, the, uh, or this is... Uh, the rate or the allele frequency is going to be remaining very small, the probability of something bad happening or the death of this person leading to the extinction of this allele is quite high. Therefore, the time required for this to happen is quite low. Neutral mutations can be used to estimate the time elapsed since uh, uh, since the populations diverge from a common ancestor, so this is one more important thing. Now, in order to predict the average time in generations for the complete loss or fixation uh, uh, of an allele in a population, we can refer to Kimura, Kimura's model. This uh, man is a Japanese scientist, and let's try to um, uh, understand what he was trying to um, explain to us. Uh, simply put, what he said was we plug in our initial frequency and our effective population size to get the value in generations. Now, let's uh, look at the graph that is now present on screen and use an example in order to understand what that, how that can help us. First of all, as an example, if the frequency of a particular allele that we're trying to study is 0.3 and the population size is 10, then we get uh, let's look at the graph. We are, if we want to just reflect on the graph itself, we see that um, uh, 0.3, we simply draw a line and then put it on the, uh, reflect it on the y-axis. It is going to be rather close to the 2.5m. Now, simply, we are, uh, n refers to the number of individuals in a population, so all we have to do is multiply 2.5 multiplied by our population of 10. This is going to be leading us to get the answer. 25 generations is the average time for uh, a fixation or a loss of an elite. 